And first we'll look costing. Based on the costing, we will decide the cost price that is called CP. Anywhere it is written in CP, then you can say it is a cost price. Amount expended or paid to produce an item or object two things can be happen either you are producing some item and after production you are selling the item then how much amount has invested for production or you are just working like a wholesaler or you are working like as a middle middleman like you are taking from somewhere like uh, many of the companies will be there they will depends on the ancillaries or their vendors they will collect the item they will sell to some other body means you are paying somewhere and you are taking from somewhere whatever you are paying that will be less than whatever you are taking from some other person. Then this is you can say like B2B business. We know all everybody aware B2B business that will be most of the time. They will just just uh, facilitate the business in a smooth chain. Like maybe a small small vendors will be there then in the very remote area or maybe some other part of the world. If you want to make a business with all these small small vendors, it is very difficult to coordinate. Then one another company will, will come in between. They will coordinate with that vendor. They will also make some profit, but they will sell you the higher price compared to actual vendor price. Correct? Means either expended or paid to produce an item or uh, you can say like purchase the item, purchase, buying and selling. Either you are doing two activity, buying and selling or you are producing something. Next is your marked price. What is your marked price? Price intended to sell. Like just suppose you made one object, you made one pen. Cost price is your 12 rupees. Your intention is I will sold at 25 rupees. Your intention, intention to show to the customer. My intention is this pen I want to sell at 25 rupees. Maybe you will sell at 25 or not. That is not sure. Maybe you will sell either at 25 or maybe below the 25. But your intention is to sell the pen at 25 rupees. Okay. Now, to attract the customer, you will just put label labeling price or you can say list price or marked price all are same. You will, pay to, uh, you will put one level that price is 25 rupees. But on these 25 rupees, you are just putting 10% discount. You are offering 10% discount or 20% discount. 20% discount on 25 rupees, it will drop down to 20 rupees. Then your exact, exact uh, price will become at which pen has sold, that will become 20 rupees. That is called selling price. That is called selling price. But uh, still 20 rupees is far, far more than your cost price. Cost price was only 12 rupees. Then my price is intended to sell but selling price is price at which actually object sold means your intention was to sell at 25 rupees but you sold at 20 rupees then you can say and in general selling price will be always between the cost price and marked price at lowest end cost price highest end marked price in between somewhere selling price will lie okay if you are making the profit then selling price will be in between the cost price and marked price if you are making the loss it will come just below the cost price now depends on how much it will shift from a marked price to cost price side depends on the discount how much you are giving okay then mark mark price is called list price also or sometimes price list label price catalog price all whatever is told that is marked